be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Today, I was reading the book of Ephesians as I was getting myself ready for the day. And it it always happens when it comes to this part in the scriptures in Ephesians chapter six, starting at verse 10. And I just want to encourage you today to be strong in the Lord. It is not in your own strength that you're going to get through this life. It is in the strength of God. It is through the strength of the Lord that you will be encouraged. It is through the strength of God that you will be lifted up in your situation, in your circumstance, the place that you find yourself in right now. That that dark place when you're going through the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil. Why? Because it is God's rod and staff that comforts you in that day of evil. So in Ephesians chapter six, starting at verse 10. It says, finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power, not your power, not by the power of this world, but in the mighty power of God, put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes for our struggle is not against flesh and blood. It's not against your husband. It's not against your wife. It's not against your coworker. It's not against the person that's in traffic. It's not against that person that's driving in front of you right now that is causing you to be a little bit late it's not against flesh and blood your your struggle is not against flesh and blood but it is against this the rulers against the authorities against the powers of this dark world against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms in the heavenly realms the realm that realm we cannot see there is a realm that we can't see there's that veil that protects us from that world that we cannot see but you know who can see you know who is in that realm the lord jesus christ the holy spirit yeah Yahweh Elohim is in the heavenly realms and he is able to go forth and to fight a battle that even you cannot see, but it is in his strength. It's through his strength that you are strengthened, that you are able to withstand in this day of evil. So therefore it says, to put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you've done everything to stand, do you know what it means to be able to stand knowing that the battle that you're going into has already been won? That battle that you have entered into in your mind has already been won. The people that come against you, the people that talk about you, folks that don't know your struggle and don't know what's going on behind closed doors, got everything and anything to say about you. Why? Because people love when people around them are doing way worse than them. People love gossip. People love to have something to talk about. Well, guess what? They about to have a whole bunch to talk about you because when God comes through for you, when you cover yourself with the full armor of God and that you are able to stand in this evil day. And when God starts to do his, his powerful work in you, they going to be having different words to say about you. They going to be asking you questions on how you got to where you are and why you don't look like what you've been through because you might be going through the fire but you will not come out smelling like smoke just but you have to start with putting on his full armor it says in verse uh, verse 14 stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist with the breastplate of righteousness in place and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes with the gospel of peace in addition to all of this take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one because the enemy he gonna come for you he is going to try to come for you he is going to try to make you feel like your situation is absolutely like it's absolutely pointless for you to even go on but let me encourage you that when you put on the full armor and you do all of this which Ephesians chapter 10 is telling you to do I'm telling you you are going to be able to push back the kingdom of darkness like nobody ever has it says in 17 verse 17 it says take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word which is your bible your scriptures the, not your scriptures but the scriptures that are 
are spoken of, like the Bible that we have that is able to give us every single thing that we need that pertains to this life. The scriptures that you read each and every single day is going to help you to push back the kingdom of darkness. So when the enemy comes rushing in you, uh, come rushing towards you like a flood, the, 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 the most high God will raise up a standard against him. You have power that is given to you by God. Be strong in the Lord's mighty power. And you will be able to withstand everything that comes your way because your strength is coming from the kingdom of heaven. It's not coming from you. It's not coming from the video that you saw where this woman was talking about, you know, how her life changed. Yes, that is encouraging. But where your real strength is going to come from, it's going to come from you knowing that you are walking fully armored with the armor of God, that you are covered in the blood of Jesus Christ, that the most high God has you. He is hiding you under his wing. He got you. Be strong and be encouraged. I love you so very much. Share this message with someone who you know needs to be uplifted who you know may need to know that they have to be strong in the Lord's mighty power. I pray that you would consider following and I ask that you would also give this video a like and drop a comment in the comment section and let me know what part of this video encouraged you today. If you have a prayer request, you can also drop that below. Be encouraged. I love you. You take care of yourself, okay? And fully clothe yourself with the armor of God so that you are able to be strong.